What's going on guys and welcome back to the Ghouls Gaming and Tech channel. As you know, we got this beautiful 2024 Tesla Model 3. This is a long range version. Yeah, we're gonna do a walk around and see pretty much what's new and what's the difference between this one and the previous refresh that released in 2021. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you're new or returning, make sure to hit that like button. It's definitely appreciated. It's the best way that I and YouTube knows you guys enjoy this kind of content. Without any further ado, let's go. All right, you guys, so as you can see right here, we have the new 18 inch Photon wheels, which is a complete different take on the wheels as opposed to the previous version of the aero wheel caps. This one has more of a aerodynamic feel to it and it looks sharper. And also the colors that they decided to use is, are a little bit darker. And I prefer this look over the previous version. As you can see in the previous one, the gray is very bright and a certain light and it kind of takes away from the car a little bit, but just overall, just a different design. All right, next up, we have the headlights. This is more of a sharp looking headlight. It kind of reminds me of like a dragonfly almost, or just snake eyes. It's very sharp and sleek. Overall, the previous version, the eyes were, or I say eyes, the headlights were more like a bubble shape, kind of mimicking the Porsche look. All right, so along with the headlights, I don't know if you guys noticed, but this does not have fog lights on the front bumper anymore. Tesla completely removed those. And now you have this smooth front bumper with no fog lights. It kind of gave it a little bit more of a lip on the car and it's more boxy, even though it's still some curves in that front bumper, it gave it more of a boxy flat look. Now, as we move to the back of the car, you can see we now have this bumper lip, this black bumper lip that kind of comes up to the car. It kind of goes up vertically. On the previous version, it was just a smooth backing with those reflector lights kind of embedded in the bumper, but now it looks like it has a dedicated space for those reflector lights, and it has some lips on this piece to make it look and probably make it a little bit more efficient and more aerodynamic for when you're traveling. But again, this is something that uh, other versions of the Tesla has. They're just bringing it over to the Model 3. All right, you guys, so as you can see, instead of the traditional Tesla logo with the T branding on the back of the car, as you can see in the picture right here on the previous 2021 version, now Tesla has completely replaced that and put the actual word Tesla on the back, pretty spaced out. This look versus the other look, to me, they're almost about the same. There's no like really boost in look to me. It's just a different type of look. So. Do I prefer this one over the other one? Uh, yeah, a little bit, but it's only because it's something new. And if you guys have been following this channel, you know I am slightly OCD. So any switch up to me is, is good in my book. All right, so the next and last thing on the outside of the car are the new tail lights. These are more streamlined. Like I said, it's more of a sharp look and it's all one piece now. So when you do lift up the trunk, you will see that the tail light goes up with the whole top piece of the trunk instead of one piece kind of still hanging back. All right, so as we make our way inside the car, you will see that the interior, at least on the doors, is completely redesigned. It's more of this soft touch material. So instead of that hard plastic kind of feeling that you had on the previous version in 2021, everything that you're seeing is a soft touch material. And now it also has that RGB lighting that goes into the doors as well. And that suede type of material that's on the main part of the door. All right, as we move to the bottom of the door, there's something that pretty much sticks out, pun intended. There are these hooks in each door now. They kind of help it latch close and also helps with the noise reduction when closing the door, which is another uh, upgrade or different feature in this, but it's kind of hard for me to kind of display that on video. But yes, now you have this hook at the bottom to help the door seal a little bit more efficiently. All right, so as we move in the inside of the car, you will see that the seats are new and redesigned. You have now this perforated seat. As far as the overall shape of the seat, it remains the same, but now you have these ventilated holes throughout the bottom and the top part of the seat. And that basically helps with it being ventilated air coming through the seat now and also the heated seats as well. All right, so going more into the car now, you will see that there are these RGB lights that pretty much run a strip around the top layer of the inside of the cabin. This extends all the way to 
the front driver and passenger door and the rear driver and passenger door. You can change these with an accent feature that you will find in your display settings for your lighting. Once you go to the lighting, you can change whatever color you want that to be. And then you also have this soft touch kind of foam material that's on top of your dashboard now instead of the wood looking uh, material that was on it before if you had the black interior and also the white little plastic bar that kind of went around the car now as we move to the rear of the cabin you will see that the seats are perforated as well but also now just a minor change the headrest on that middle seat now comes down with the cup holder so it didn't have that previously like i said this is a minor change all right another change that you will notice in the back cabin of the car now you have a rear display that your rear passengers can use to provide them tons of entertainment. You can move the passenger front seat forward or backward. You can change the AC for the rear cabin area. You can listen to music, you can watch videos, and you can play tons of games and also control the volume. So that is a huge upgrade in my opinion. I definitely like this feature and it's probably one of my top changes. All right, so moving back up to the front cabin of the vehicle, you will notice several changes. The main display is supposedly brighter and more efficient. It's also smaller with the black bezels that go around it. As you can see right here in this picture, the bezels on the previous Tesla Model 3 are a little bit thicker. These are slightly reduced to make more of a enjoyable viewing experience. And also you will notice there is a difference in the steering wheel. The steering wheel now has no stocks on the side and everything is by haptic touch on the steering wheel. So everything you need to control with your driving is going to be on your steering wheel when it comes to the left indicator, the right indicator, your cameras, accessing your cruise control, everything that you would primarily use those stocks for, even your windshield wipers, all that is now controlled on your steering wheel and also it's a new design overall you have the tesla letters embroidered into the middle of the horn or your airbag and instead of that tesla t logo and then also at the sides where the controls are that's all new the shape of it is slightly different and then also under your airbag is that v-shaped cutout that is also new as well so tesla didn't spare any expense when kind of upgrading and adding a different feel to this new refined refresh version of this car. All right, you guys, so another thing of note is the redesign of the inside of the front hood or the frunk. The front hood has these X's on the top of them. Uh, the previous version in 2021 did not have this. Granted, this is a very, very minute and minor change, but uh, it's just a different look. And lastly, the front trunk remains pretty much the same, but the only difference is now you have the windshield wiper fluid at the lower front of the front trunk instead of the rear left or top left, if you would say. Um, so now you can access it a little bit easier and also your tow hitch, instead of it being at the bottom of the front under where you would uh, lay everything, it's now more towards you in a hidden kind of way, just closer to that windshield wiper fluid. So instead of laying flat, it's now pressed against one of those walls. All right, you guys, so that is about it. Those are all the major changes and minute changes that you need to concern yourself with when you're purchasing this vehicle. Again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about these changes. Are they good for you? Do you like them? Do you not like them? I try to make this video short and sweet for you guys, just so you can get down to the nitty gritty of what's really different, if it's actually worth your time looking into and your money purchasing. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. And as always, thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.